some of you might say, well, what about the, the S my SB has that? It does. The SB has a definite punch and and, and, and warmth to it, but there's something about this P base that just adds a little bit more sand. It adds a little bit more dust, a little bit more grit. There's a little extra. It goes a little bit above above the normal tone tonal sound of the SB. The SB has a nice overall sound, a nice warmth. But this not as gritty, not as, as grungy, but I have to, you know, move, I have to play it a little bit higher. You know, it's kind of, you know, not in the, my comfortable position. Now with this, with the PV5, it, I can play this that, and get that, that, uh, that uh, 60 sound anywhere on the neck. I can play right above it. Spot. So for the jazz guys out there that love playing in the jazz position, position like myself, you don't, and, but still want that, that P bass sound, you're not losing any sound from here to here. A lot of basses you go here and then here it's a little bit quieter, so you got to move there. With, with this, with the way they, they configured this bass, you get that same, same tone no matter where. So if you play from the back pickup. Too quiet, so these are different configured pickups. You know, 
you can go into carbon.com and you can really get the specifics and specs. Of, I'm, not a, I'm not an engineer or anything, so I'm not too keen on the spe specifics of it, but you can go to carbon.com, check it out, check all the, the radius of, of the neck and everything. It's, it's the same, same neck as on the, uh, the SV, so you got the, the P-Bass pickup and the Jazz pickups, and you can get a different setup. You can also get just the P-Bass for those guys that want to just have the you know, P-Bass sound, rock sound. This is fine, or this sound, which you get, uh, you get a wider variety. You, there's, there's, you, this is a one studio bass, if that makes sense. This is a bass you take in the studio. You only need one. You don't need several others. You know, this is it. This covers, this covers absolutely everything. Now, when I get back home, I will go into a little bit more detail and compare both the SB and this side by side, so you guys can actually hear and visually see. You know, compare both of them together, but. My, my overall rating on this is, is most definitely a 10. I mean, this is, this is a base not only that for rooms of just a theaters of this size, this is for, you know, small jazz clubs, bars. This is from bars to theaters to, to stadiums. This is a, a base that anybody can just pick up and, and play. There's a lot of bases out there that are made, you know, these eight thousand dollar bases that look like coffee tables because all these several different woods but you're going into the studio with you know five other bases trying to get this one sound but with this you get that you get whatever sound you dial into you get that sound there wasn't a sound that i'm like ah, i wish it had this it actually had more than my sd my sd is fantastic sds are great but this had just a, this has just a different tone SB has its own category, and then Carbon just made a new category with P-Bass. And, and it's that thing about Carbon that I love. It's great. That what more can I say? It speaks for itself. There's no adjusting. I play flat all the time, which also leaves room, room to add more stuff. But a lot of bases that I've played in the past is you plug in if the amps are set funny, you got to adjust, and by the time you're done adjusting, either rehearsal is almost over or your, the gig is almost over by the time you dial in your sound with this is plug in and go no matter where you are and that really shows the quality of carving that the bass speaks for itself because there's a lot of guys out there that'll either go sit in for a jam session and you know before the practice and they sound good they plug in and they're like why is my bass sounding good and they're trying to adjust everything but with this plug right in and go for it it's, it's, it's not much that you have to do not, nothing you have to do at all but uh, when I get back home I will do a comparison